Weezy and, and Daily are playing a math game. Weezy gives Daily these steps to follow. All right, so this question, we have to follow these steps exactly. So it says a number. A number, we're always going to say it's x. So multiply a number x by 6 and then subtract 4. So this, you subtract 4. Divide the result by negative by 2. So you divide everything by negative 2 because this is the result. Add 3 to the result of step 2. So you got to add 3 to all this. If Delia's final answer is 19, what is the original number? So all this has to equal to 19. Now this is just algebra. So you're going to solve for x. First thing first, get rid of the plus 3. So you do minus 3, minus 3. You get 6x minus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 16. Now get rid of the division. So you do times 2. Times 2. You left with 6x minus 4 is equal to 32. Now you get rid of the 4 minus 4. You plus 4 plus 4. Left with 6x is equal to 36. How you get rid of the 6? You divide it. x is equal to 6. So the answer is 6. Simple, simple, simple. All right. Two quantities x and y are are in a relationship in which y varies directly to x with x. Directly means this is a one step. So you're going to multiply x by a, by a number to give you y. So our x, so our, our point is negative 16 and 28. So we need to know. So when this is 28, it's going to be an it's going to be a number. Let's call it k times times negative 16. Okay, so we plug in negative 16. Negative 16 times the number is going to give us 28. What is that number we multiply by? Well, you sub we divide by negative 16. Are right, you left with 28 or negative 16? You reduce this. You take out a four. Divide by four. Divide by four. Left with seven over negative four. So k is negative seven four. So y is equal to negative 7 over 4x. So be sure again, plug in your x. So plug in negative 16. Negative 16 times this does give you 28. So the answer is g. Okay. Kevin saves 20% of his total weekly earnings from his two part jobs. His two part-time jobs. He earns 575 per hour at the first one and 655 per hour at a second. Kevin works 20 hours this this week at the first job and 10 this week at the second job. What is the amount he will save this week? Okay, so we know he saves 20% of his total work, weekly earnings. So first we need to know how much does he earn from his first job and how much he, he earns from his second job. So the first job he works 20 hours and he gets 575 per hour. So of course you're going to do 20 times 5.75. That gives you a certain number, and then 10 times 6.55. All right, and that gives us, where's my calculator? So 20 times 5.75 is equal to 115. 10 times 6.55 is equal to 65.50. Now to earn to find out how much he earns in total, you add both of these. So 115 plus 65.5 is equal to 18 180.50. So now he saves 20% of this. Now what is 20% of of 180? So 20% of 180 and 50 cents is remember 20% means 0.20. Of means you want to multiply 0.50. So $180.50 times 0.20 is equal to $36.10. 36 so the answer is A. So again, first step, we have to find out how much money he earns in the first job, how much money he earns in the second job. And then you add them up to find out how much money he earns in total. So then you find out 20% of that. So 20% of this is 3610.
Alright. 22. The diagram below shows a circle inscribed in the isosceles right, right triangle. Which equation best represents the area A of the shaded region? So we want to know the area of all this. In that part. Okay. So we know there's an area, and you're going to subtract the area of the circle. Now, what's what's area of the triangle? Area of the triangle is 1 half base times height. This 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 one, base is x, and the height is x, so it's x squared. 1 half x squared. All right, this is for triangle. And what's the area of the circle? It's pi r squared, but in this case, r is y. So y squared is equal to area of circle. All right. So now one half x squared gives us the whole thing, but we took out this whole piece. So you're gonna subtract. So we have one half x squared minus pi y squared. So you go to the area. Now which one of these has has that? And it's h. Twenty two is H. Twenty three. During the second week of summer vacation, Ruben practices guitar for ten minutes less than twice the amount of of time he practiced the first week. He practiced n minutes the first week. Which of the following expression represents the number of minutes that Ruben practiced during the second week? All right. So let's read it again. Ruben practices his guitar for 10 minutes less. So 10 minutes less means we're going to be subtracting than twice the amount of time he practiced the first week. So if he practiced n minutes last week, what's twice that? Well, 2m. And what's 10 minutes less? Well, 2m minus 10. So 23 is C. Pretty easy. Shout out. Read the words and figure out what they're asking us. So, 10 minutes less than the time amount he practiced last week. Last week, he practiced M. Twice of M is 2M. And 10 minutes less is 2M minus 10. For 24, the length of rectangle is 4R squared S to the 50 cube units. And the rectangle area is that. If R S and T cannot be zero, which of the following best describes the width of the rectangle? Alright. So we know the area has equal to 20 R to the fifth, S to the seventh, T to the fourth. Alright, and our length. So our area is length times width. So length times width has to equal our area, which is this. So our length is 4 R squared S to the fifth T cube times w has to equal 20 r to the fifth as 7 t to the fourth so what do you do here you divide because try and solve for the width so divide by all that mess and 4 r squared s to the fifth t cubed all right now this is testing your exponential skills Hopefully you remember. So remember, you're going to divide. So when you're dividing exponents, means you are subtracting the number on top. So this, you're going to subtract this from this, this from this, and that from that. You can only subtract the ones with the same base. So in this case, you're going to subtract r from r, s from s, and t from t. So 20 divided by 4 is 5. r, r fifth divided by r squared. So you sub, so it's r. And 5 minus 2 is 3. S to the 7th and S to the 5th, you subtract, remember the exponents. 7 minus 5 is 2. Now T to the 4th divided by T cubed is, you divide again, you subtract the exponents. 4 minus 3 is 1. So which one of these is here? And 24 is F. 5 R cubed S squared T units. Number 25. A city bus collects 780s in fares one day. The price of regular fare was 80 cents. And the price of discount fare is 40 cents. If a total of 200 people pay the fares on this bus, how many people pay the regular fare? Alright. So bus collects 
Must collect a total of 780. So of regular people plus discounted people has equal to 1,200. Now the price of regular fare is 80. So I'm 80 cents. So point 80 regular plus point four D has to equal to 780. How many people pay the regular fare? So we want to, we're solving for regular fare, which is R. So we want to cancel out our D's. So how do you cancel out your D's? Multiply this by negative 0.4. Multiply by negative 0.4, you get negative 0.4R minus 0.4D is equal to negative 1200 times 0.12 times 0.4. Negative 480. Now we add because we're trying to subtract our D's, our discounts. So now we add. So these two will cancel. 0.8R plus negative 0.4R is 4.4R. 780 minus 480 is 300. Sorry for R. R is equal to 300 divided by 0.4. 300 divided by 0.4 is. It's equal to 750. So the answer is D750.